Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date, 20th of May 2016. Our discussion today is going to be about sunder or asunder. In Psalms 107.14, he brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and break their bands in sunder. In Isaiah 27.9, by this therefore, shall the iniquity of Jacob be purged, and this is all the fruit to take away his sin, when he make all the stones of the altar as chalk stones that are beaten in sunder, the groves and images shall not stand up. In Mark 5.4, because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. In Luke 12:46, the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looked not for him, at, at an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him in sunder and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. Hebrews 4.12 For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing even the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and the joints of marrow, and is discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. This is another word I had to look up because I wasn't sure of it. It's defined as to split apart as an organization or two people, especially in a violent way. To break apart or in two, to separate by or as if violence or by intervening time or space. To become parted or disunited or severed. The stones of the idols were broken. The chains of the wild man were severed or sundered. God's word is like a two-edged sword to, that will divide the soul and the spirit and the joints. When there was an earthquake, the chains of Paul and Silas and other prisoners were broken. I want you to think about this and have a blessed day.